Thank you, Amy. While many of us are spending time outdoors enjoying the fall weather, plenty of creatures are trying to head indoors. Eyewitness News' Amanda Mueller is here now. Amanda, you say that some of these pests can hurt us. Others, though, may be eating some things we don't want them to eat. Absolutely. Well, most people who live in the tri-state know to look for spiders indoors as the seasons change. But there is another nuisance that looks similar to a spider, and it causes a different kind of damage. If the environment's conducive for them, they're all going to move in. Many folks are used to these guys. But there's a creature that many people see in their basements that could be nibbling on carpets and clothes over the winter. They have a bunch of different names, cave cricket, spider cricket, spricket, camelback cricket. Different names and different means of mobility that may be horrifying to some people. They do have a really impressive jump. So they can jump up to about my waist and they, can they tend to jump towards people when they see them. And you might see them frequently because there's no lack of choices when it comes to where they want to live in your home. So your basements, your crawl spaces, your bathrooms and your laundry rooms, anywhere there's going to be a moisture problem, they're going to try and move into. They like to eat organic things like fungus or your carpets or your clothing, but they'll also eat something else. What can get weird about these guys that they run out of food source, they will eat each other. These bugs are a nuisance, but there's also bad news or good news depending on how you see it. They are a cricket, so they can bite. It's not a huge painful bite. Leave those huge, painful, and poisonous bites up to these guys. Probably hungry, too. Yeah, cool. Runyon says you can keep every unwelcome visitor out, no matter how many legs, by sealing holes that lead outside and removing leaf litter from your porch. So if you have these leaves falling around your home right now, remove those now, because that can be warmer and more humid in that leaf litter next to your house than it is in the outside. Now, that etymologist also told me you'll find black widows and brown recluse in different places. Black widows will try to hide and overwinter in garages and sheds. Recluses will often find their way into your home. Don't like to hear about any of that, but okay. Thank you for that information. Very valuable. Thanks, Amanda.